Hi everyone. In today's video, we are going to see what are the five love languages and what is the secret to keep your relationship lively. Why is that only few couple have identified how to keep their relationship lively during the later part of their marriage life and why is that few aren't able to to understand this better i really love the analogy mentioned by gary chapman in his book the five love languages it goes like this communication gets difficult when people communicate in different languages say for example i know only english and the other person to whom i need to communicate with knows only spanish end of the day somehow we can communicate what i want to tell the other person but how the communication goes it gets difficult right it's not that much at ease like how we communicate with the same language the same goes with the love language as well by the way what is this love language love language is nothing but loving your loved one in the way they want to be loved which is nothing but everyone will have a different love language so loving them in their love language makes it very easy to express your love let's see what are these five love languages mentioned by gary chapman first one words of affirmation imagine receiving a compliment from a random person saying hey your dress looks really awesome can drive us for the entire day imagine if such a compliment or kind of words if you are hearing from your partner how much it can drive you what sort of an energy you will get simple words by expressing your love i really feel safe when i'm with you i really love the way you did the dish yesterday Thank you for being there with me at the time when I really needed you the most. Such simple statements can really energize your relationship, energize your partner's day and drive them for the entire day. Second one, quality time. Having conversations, spending time with your partner, you know at the end of the day, you know sharing between uh, yourself how your entire day was. doing some physical activities that you both would love to do like this spending your time fullest with your partner having conversations with your partner by watching a series watching match that's not quality time completely involving your physical mental emotional state into the conversations and into the activity spending time with your partner is called as quality time number 3 receiving gifts which is nothing but visual symbol of love it need not be expensive or where you need to offer every day or every week say for example hey i saw this when i was crossing by the shop and it reminded me of you so i just bought it for you how romantic right simple deeds will keep your relationship lively and energizing fourth one acts of service doing things together sharing household works sharing responsibilities with each other is also an expression of love and the last one is the physical touch many feel most loved when they receive physical touch from their partner it is not always being intimate but doing body massages hugging each other putting your hands on the shoulder every little deeds is a act of expressing your love you might have a question most of us like all of these together in our relationship right true but what is your primary love language and what is your secondary love language identify your primary love language and identify your partner's primary love language and don't forget to let me know in the comments never miss a chance 
to express your love to your partner. Thanks everyone for watching.